Hey Cadillac fans, are you considering installing one of those suede shift knobs in your CTS? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how it is so easy. You can literally get it done in less than 10 minutes and you don't need to go to the dealer to have it installed. Everything up next. <laughs> Now you may have found yourself here because you saw my other video on how to install the Alcantara steering wheel in your ATS or CTS. I'll have a link right about there for you as well as one in the end credits. It's a pretty easy install and if you get that steering wheel, you want that suede shifter to match. I already have Alcantara accents in my Cadillac CTS V-Sport so just adding the suede shifter really completes that package. Now you can get the shifter at 404 parts for less than 150 bucks and I think it's a no brainer to have that soft suede feel under your right hand. But right now, if you get the combo of the steering wheel and the shifter, you can get a free $10 gift card for a future purchase at 404parts.com. Just use my promo code found in the description and right here at the bottom of the screen. And I know you're going to want to go back to 404 parts because you'll probably want to do maybe that Q upgrade or maybe you need some new control arms for your car. There's not much to say about this suede shifter except that it's really great. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to install right now. Although this leather shifter is nice, it's time to switch it out for the suede one. The first step is to set your parking brake because we need to move the shifter out of park to work on it. Go ahead and get in your car, start it up, and move the shifter to the neutral position. You can then shut down your car, but your door chime is going to chime until you close the door. Now on a lot of cars, you'd have to remove this whole area in red or more to get the shifter off, but thankfully Cadillac made this easy for us. All you have to do is grab the leather and gently tug it until it comes free. Now I've removed mine a couple times, but I do remember the first time it was a little harder than that. So if you want to take it easy, use a flat trim tool to release these six points where the leather clicks into the console. Just slide the trim tool between the leather and the piano black plastic to release those areas while you pull up on the leather. Be careful not to scratch that nice plastic. Once it's free, you can lift up on the leather. It's attached to a rectangular base. Then twist it to the side so you can get access to the electrical connector below. The little white connector has a release clip on the passenger side. Reach in there with your finger if you can fit and release it while pulling up on the wires. Be careful not to break the wires. If it's too hard to reach with your fingers, you can use a small tool to actuate the clip and release it. But for me, actually, I found it easier just to use my hands. Once that's free, we'll just grab the shifter firmly, twist it slightly as we pull straight up and it comes right off. All right, let's compare the two shifters. There's not much to say, honestly. They're exactly the same except for the material. You still have your shift button as well as the manual shifting button up top. Uh, mine has a decal on the old one. I'll have to get a new one for the suede one. You can see on the inside that both of these are made from leather. Now take your new shift knob and slide it back over the shaft. Make sure it seats completely and then reconnect the electrical connector. It should click into place. If it doesn't quite reach, really make sure that the shift knob is over the shaft completely. Once that's connected, just snap the suede base into the console. All right, that's about it. Now let's just start the car and make sure that it operates properly. You should be able to shift the car easily out of park, put it into drive and press the M button to make sure that it activates the manual mode if that's what you have in your car. If everything works, you're done. And now to add the final touch. Unbelievably easy install, am I right? I mean, some cars you gotta really take stuff apart, but in these cars, so easy to swap it out. And I'm so glad I did. One of the best upgrades, it really finishes the interior of my Cadillac CTS. 
So if you think that now you wanna get one of these shifters because you know you can install it yourself, please hit the like button, subscribe, and of course hit the bell to be notified of when my next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching the Jet Fuel Only channel. I'll see you next time. Change.